Guys. I'm running from the law. I've been... bullying kids. On YouTube. I'm sorry about the weird ASMR thing at the start of this video, but hey guys, it's Rads here. Cunt, weed enthusiast, and virgin loser. Now you might be wondering, why the fuck am I wearing sunglasses indoors like a retard? Well, in case you guys are unaware, I live in Australia, so the sun is just so incredibly bright. Even when we're indoors, okay? The sun's over there, the walls are blocking the sunlight, but what's actually happening is uh, magic, and it's just shining through the walls, and I just can't see anything, so I need to put on these sunnies indoors. No, I'm joking, I'm just acting like a retard for this video. I, I don't know, but... Guys, I'm wanted for a more serious crime than wearing sunglasses indoors. I have been bullying kids on the internet. I, I called I, I called Ruby Rube fat in my last video. And that Oh. And I also said she has no eyebrows. I'm I'm sorry, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a malicious human being, but please please find in your heart to forgive me. She is clickbait that there is worse. And this is borderline bullying. Sorry, man. Well, I do find it extremely ironic that you are telling me that I am apparently bullying people when you yourself are subscribed to Leafy and Pyrocynical. And after pointing this out to him, he says, All I'm saying is that it's wrong. It's fine if you don't care, but it's still wrong. Pyro doesn't bully kids. Are, are you fucking... Are you serious right now? Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Yeah. And when Leafy did it, it ruined his career. Look at him now. I think I think the iDubs content cop has got something to do with his career being ruined. I don't think bullying kids has anything to do with it. And please don't tell me it's a joke. I'm I'm a triggered snowflake. It's a terrible way to grow your channel. Well, if it's a terrible way to grow my channel, then why don't you start your own channel and prove me wrong? Go on, do it. Honestly, I can barely see a thing in these fucking glasses. They keep fogging up. Last week was a very eventful week. I posted this on Twitter. And of course, I had to black out the name of the individual that is inside the, the, the screenshot. And because when I posted this on Twitter, she kind of came at me with no reason. She didn't want me putting her name online publicly, even though it's her, you know, public username. But we'll just forget about that. And now... I reacted a little bit. I'm grabbing him and I'll fuck you up. I'm grabbing him now and I'll fuck you up. And of course, how dare I? You know, I'm just clinically insane for doing that. I'm fucking nuts. I just, I need to be thrown into a home. I'm sorry, I'm just turning into drama alert now, just reporting all the horrible shit that happens to me online. But anyway, that's not the subject matter of today's video. Today, I'm going to be talking about my favourite anime, Dragon Ball Z. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Oh, Rads, we don't watch Dragon Ball Z. Why are you bringing this up? You don't have to understand Dragon Ball Z because that's not what I'm going to be talking about today as such. I'm going to be talking about the YouTube community around Dragon Ball Z. Ah, such a great community. Full of such bright individuals that I just want to fucking strangle. The Dragon Ball community is actually so fucking oversaturated at this point. There's just all sorts of videos going around. What's going to be happening next episode? Well, we'll find out next week, won't we? Now, don't get me wrong, there are good Dragon Ball YouTubers such as Expert Games and Seth the Programmer, but even those guys are not entirely innocent. But those aren't the subject matter of today's video. I'm going to be talking about two specific YouTubers in the Dragon Ball community this video. One of them is suffering from GTA 5 Syndrome, which is a mysterious disease where you extend your video beyond 10 minutes and stick thousands of fucking ads in there and then rake in all the ad revenue because your channel is dying. And the other is just clinically insane. Right now, Dragon Ball Z is currently airing its sequel, Dragon Ball Super. And in Dragon Ball Super, there is this big fuck-off dragon called Super Shenron, and he will grant you any wish of your desire. No limits, nothing. I personally would wish for the death of Jake Paul and his entire fan base. But there's this one character named Jiren, and he is going to wish for something. Now, my best guess is he's probably going to wish for his universe back, because people suspect that he might be from another universe, and he might want to wish that universe back. Summed up in pretty much a minute, okay? And so, what does this loser, Unreal Entertainment Gaming, do? Well, he makes a 16-minute fuck-off long video on it, and sticks 
four mid-roll ads in there. That's right, you heard it here first. Four mid-roll ads. I'm not including the ending ad. I'm not including the ad at the start. Fucking four mid-roll ads in the middle of the video. My god. And I just love how he just wants to kind of sit there and just go, Yeah, so, uh, well, what do you guys think, what do you guys think Jiren's gonna do? What do you guys think he's gonna wish for? What do you think he's gonna wish for? What do you think he's gonna wish for? What do you think he's gonna wish for, guys? So, what if theories, what are your overall thoughts on Jiren's wish? What do you think it could be? Is it something to where it goes against his beliefs in representing justice? Do you think it's maybe a selfish wish? Do you think maybe it's a wish to where it's some benevolent in terms of nature? What are your overall thoughts on Jiren's wish? And do you think in your opinion that maybe this foreshadows Jiren winning, you know, further as we continue in terms of- What do you think he's gonna wish for? Uh, what, what, what do you, what do you think he's gonna wish for? Doesn't fucking speculate or anything. He just asks the audience continuously to, to get the video over 10 minutes. What is he? What do you think he's gonna wish for? And then he brings in his retard friend to basically continue on this path of let's get this video to beyond 16 minutes because I need all that ad revenue. Ah, and I gotta love that cancerous intro. <laughs> And again, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and enable all notifications by clicking that bell icon. That way you guys can be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto this channel. Complete cancer. Unreal Entertainment Gaming used to do Let's Play Dragon Ball Xenoverse videos. But at some point down the road, he realized, oh crap, my channel is dying. What am I going to do? Well, I'll pull a lispy Jimmy. And I'll just extend my videos to beyond 16 minutes. I won't fucking get to the point. These aren't even discussion videos. These are literally just videos of a person repeating himself over and over and over again. And he rambles on and on in his videos. It's not even worth your time. Unreal Entertainment Gaming, I've got some advice for you, okay? If you're going to make Dragon Ball Z discussion videos, they have to actually be discussion videos. They can't be you and a retard friend of yours sitting there going, Oh, what do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? I think we get a brain tumor and fucking die. But that's not how it works. Just do what Expert Games does. It doesn't matter if your video is three minutes long, okay? Expert Games pulls in a shitload of views, okay? And he's a good YouTuber. He has got a, a few misconceptions about Goku's character, but he is a good YouTuber, okay? And what I love about his channel is his view to sub ratio. It's actually sad. His Jiren video got 21,000 views. His Goku Black vs. Hit video got 15,000 views. Have a guess at what his subscriber count is. Nearly 420,000. His channel is going down the toilet. I'm going to talk to you guys about language. Now, this is a very simple subject for those who are not geeked in 101. The word chair is Norman French, okay? It's not originally English, it's a Norman French word, which was a slang French word back in hundreds of years ago. And that word was borrowed from Norman French to English, so chair is a Norman French word, okay? It's not an English word, it's a Norman French word. Now, in France, the word chair was not pronounced chair, it was pronounced something else. I don't know what it was pronounced by, but it wasn't pronounced chair, it was pronounced different. Another example, this isn't a loan word, but it's a similar example to what happens to words over time as languages evolve. The word rudder for the boat is an English word, 100% English, always has been. It comes from the Old English word, ruda. That's how you would say it, that's how you would say it in Old English, ruda. Now, have we been saying it wrong for thousands of years? No, of course we haven't. The word changes over time, and this happens when... A word from another language is given to our language. Now, I'm going to talk about a series that Geekdom made on his channel called Dragon Ball Lost in Translation. And I'll give you a fucking hint. Nothing in the series was lost in translation. He has probably lost a couple of brain cells. Now, the word Saiyajin, which is the Japanese word for Saiyan. Saiyans are a race of people in the Dragon Ball universe. Don't worry about it. But the word Saiyan in Japanese is Saiyajin, right? In English, it's Saiyan. Now, this wasn't a translation error at all. It was deliberate. The dubbing company that first dubbed Dragon Ball Z deliberately made this change. They wanted to make it easier for English speakers to pronounce. It is not pronounced Saiyan in English at all. It is not pronounced that. That is not the correct pronunciation. Now... Geekdom's logic is simple, right? And it, it makes sense if you don't think about it for too long. 
Well, in Japanese, it's Saiyajin, so it would be pronounced Cyan, so therefore it would need to be pronounced Cyan in English. Well, no, Gigdom, that's not how it works. When a loan word is given to our language, it's changed, okay? It's not a, it's not a mistranslation, it's changed. Now, you can disagree with me, Gigdom, but when it comes to reality, let's take the word Mazda. Now, Gigdom, I hate to inform you of this, but Mazdas are made in Japan. This may shock some of you, but Dragon Ball is actually from Japan. And how do you think the Japanese people pronounce Mazda? They don't pronounce it Mazda, Geekdom. They pronounce it Mazuda. Which means, according to your own logic, you have been pronouncing Mazda wrong your entire life, and you need to change it. Of course, Geekdom's logic is entirely fucked up. It's wrong, it's incorrect. Otherwise, we would have to constantly change the pronunciation of everything. Every single word in the English language, all of it was pretty much borrowed. So we've all been pronouncing pretty much all the loan words according to Geekdom's logic. All loan words in the English language need to be re-pronounced. Yeah, the word chair, you're saying that wrong. Uh, computer, saying that wrong. Uh, fucking, I don't know, um, Fritz, you've been saying that wrong. It's Fritz or something, I don't know. But according to Geekdom's logic, that's how it works, okay? If a word is borrowed from another language, you need to pronounce it the way that that other language pronounces it. No, that is stupid. But what I love even more is the stupidity of his own fans. Let's talk about names for a second, right? Names can be translated, okay? Names are translated. My name is Joseph. In Hebrew, it's Yosef. It's probably pronounced incorrectly there, but it's Yosef as far as I know. In Italy, it's Giuseppe, or Giuseppe. In Spanish, I think it's Jose, I think. It's, I could be wrong. And in Japan, Yosafu, or Yosafu with the correct pronunciation. Now, when I pointed out to a Geekdom fan who was trying to correct me in the comments section that when names are given to other languages, they are changed, he shook his head. He said, no, 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 no. Your, your name is always Joseph, okay? It's never translated. I'm sorry, what? You mean, you mean every fucking language on the earth has gotten this wrong? Because I'm not kidding. My name is different in nearly every fucking language you can imagine. It's different in every single one. And you're here to tell me that every single fucking language on earth has been pronouncing it incorrectly? That's it. I've lost too many brain cells to count. I'm fucking done. Now, that's not even what I'm mainly exposing Geekdom for. I'm mainly exposing Geekdom for his interesting claim at the end of this video. So, at the end of the day, if you pronounce it Saiyan, it's actually a mistake from 1995 that was never fixed. But, it's fine. It doesn't matter if you pronounce it Saiyan, Saiyan, or Saiyajin. Either way, just remember that we all bleed red, we all love Dragon Ball, so let's enjoy the series together. Now, Geekdom wants to come across as a person who is inclusive. You know, he wants to say, this is a place where we can bring the whole Dragon Ball community together. Um, I'm here to unfortunately inform you that he's selling you a fucking lie. So, at the end of the day, if you pronounce it Saiyan, it's actually a mistake from 1995 that was never fixed. Geekdom 101 is arrogant, cocky. He thinks that he is right 100% of the time. And I can demonstrate this through just showing you video clips of him. Would somebody who thinks that anybody who disagrees with him is stupid... Is that inclusive? Does that sound fucking inclusive to you? Of course it fucking doesn't, because it's not inclusive. So the next time you hear Geekdom 101 say, Oh yeah, well, I'm being inclusive, he's full of shit. I don't understand why 400,000 people have subscribed to this guy. It makes absolutely no sense. Ow. And this video was an attempt to sort of, like, talk about a serious issue, which I think is a serious issue, and that's the Dragon Ball YouTube community. It's cancer. I'm sorry. And I love Dragon Ball, and it's such a shame to see a community that is just so oversaturated with arrogant cunts, clickbaiting scumbags, and even the good YouTubers, like Seth the Programmer and Expert Games. They still are not perfect. You got Seth the Programmer, 
who blames Toei Animation whenever he's wrong for something, and you got Expert Games, who thinks that Goku doesn't fight for the sake of good. He does. And this is a problem, is the YouTubers. They're bad. Like, in their own regard, every single one of them, they're bad. And stop thinking that you're right all the fucking time. And stop making cancerous videos where you extend it beyond 16 minutes so that you can get more fucking ad revenue. Just stop. I'm feeling quite up and motivated with YouTube this week, so I may attempt to make a second video for this week. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, that is it, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.